How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to our little getaway. So let's jump right into it. So we decided to get a little getaway for ourselves here in the good old nature. Um, relatively close to where we live actually, oddly enough. And it's just basically kind of like a tiny house in the wilderness and the forest and all that stuff. So we're just going to be staying here the night to create some content, some memories with our dogs and have some a fun a little getaway. Well, we're gonna go put the 35 to 150 to use and walk around with the good old puppers and see what we can capture, have some fun, and not get bit by ticks. We're here at our little kind of cabin thing. It's pretty nice, um, you know, gotta relax a little bit after having our nice walk with the doggies and exploring the grounds a little bit more. We're gonna kind of settle in a little bit and slowly but surely let nightfall come so that we can do some fire out there and just kind of maybe make some s'mores since they left us a nice little s'mores, uh, I guess, package thing and it's been pretty cool so far i mean uh, i like nature but some of the stuff i don't like about nature is good old ticks and i think we found two already on our dogs but we we're able to get them before they bit them so that's kind of nice something about nature is great but not the bugs so it is what it is So my weapon of choice mainly for this trip is going to be the 35 to 150 by Tamron that I recently reviewed and everything. It's something that I wanted to see how well it could be for condensing when traveling to have the 35 to 150 and the 17 to 28 when it came down for videoing and photography and everything like that. So that's basically my weapon of choice having my A7S 3 and my A7R 3 right now.
So I can definitely tell that my dogs don't like change because ever since we've been out here, um, they kind of aren't enjoying their time as much as they should because they freak out about any little change sometimes, but we're trying to change up with them because... Uh, that's a couple I'm talking about. They freak out for no reason. Yeah. But like I said, they don't really like change, so they tend to freak out for the littlest of things. But you gotta make them learn somehow. Done with lovely dinner. Now we have some s'mores to maybe make. I haven't decided yet if I want to make s'mores because uh, kind of stuff right now. But I guess Lola wants some s'mores. Yeah. So we're just kind of out here. The fire kind of died, but it is what it is. And I wanted to use the 35 to 150 to see how well the I guess the autofocus would be at night, you know, with the low light, you know, while I'm out here just kind of enjoying the darkness. I was going to try to do some astrophotography, but it is a cloudy tonight because we're supposed to get some storms tomorrow, which it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal, but um, I wanted to see if the 35 to 150 could like take cool little night photography, like astrophotography, since I don't really get to do it too much where I live since obviously light pollution. And out here is rather dark. I mean, I have my little aperture light to kind of light myself off because if not, that's basically at 12,000 or 100, no, it's yeah, 12,800 ISO. So, uh, you know, kind of trying to be lit out here. Um, we got some light out obviously from the, the little like cabin thing, but I didn't really turn them on just yet. So it's kind of going off of this uh, just to see how it holds, but yeah, so I'm gonna kind of like stand up to see how well it can track me, um, you know, just using the light to keep me focused in, if you will. Um, so if I'm like kind of like moving around, it doesn't lose me, especially if it's dark time. But hmm. so far from what I can tell on the, the little screen over here, it's doing fine. Um, I'm excited for the morning time because it's been kind of... Um, I guess foggy the last few mornings and I'm hoping we get some nice fog in the morning so we can do some cool little kind of establishing establishing shots and everything like that I was wanting to use my drone but since there's a lot of trees it might be hard but I think there's a good opening where I can kind of do it so we're gonna kind of play by ear once the morning comes along uh, right now we're just gonna kind of rest up a little bit since it is late and I'm tired but uh, you know, it is what it is when it comes down to these kind of cabin adventures and whatnot. So, um, so far, so good. We had some good dinner, some good kind of walks and taking some photos. Now we shall rest and then tomorrow morning we'll be taking more kind of like the photos that we're here to take anyway. Because we knew that we weren't going to be able to do as much as we wanted to. Being the time that we check in at 3, it gets kind of dark around like 5-ish. Especially here in Texas right now, it's a little bit later than most places, which is kind of nice, but it is a little bit of a headache because uh, with all the trees, the sunset goes by too fast, so then you can't really create what you want to do. I want to do a couple more photos in, inside the cabin tomorrow with the natural light coming in, so we'll probably get up a little bit early and see if we get a huge storm or not that we're supposed to get tomorrow and if we don't and we get a nice little fog before the storm that'd be kind of nice but so far this is what it is like i'm trying to like see if i can if i zoom in that's just so much but <laughs> just keeping it at the f2 of the 35 right now so i mean using my little light just to kind of like see myself i guess but yeah let's see if i can like move all the way over here if it tracks me or not I don't know. Looks like it is, but you guys will be able to tell before I see the footage because the movie magic will happen, well, after I'm back home. But just want to give you a little bit of a low light test right now with the A7S3 and the 35 to 150 Tamron. Just at 35 because I'm having to video myself. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we're probably going to go rest up a little bit and then be up early and create some good memories and fun times from this trip.
time for bed. Top of the morning to you guys. Um, I'm tired. It's actually hard to sleep in these little cabins things because any little noise you can hear, whether it's inside the cabin or kind of outside, and the idea of having ticks on you really creeps upon you. But other than that, pretty cool place. Uh, we're gonna take some photos here in a bit of the inside area. Now that it's kind of morning, even though it's kind of cloudy, but we're gonna see what we can get out of it and see if we can take some cool photos with a 35 to 150 in here. Something that I did learn by being there is I do enjoy myself a good Wi-Fi and cell service because as much as I like nature, when the location doesn't have anything to explore outside of like your campground area, like not even a decent trail or view, you kind of get bored, which it's okay, I guess, but for the most part, I know that next time if i were to do this besides what i packed for gear i really like just using the 35 to uh, 150 that i'm filming with right now the 17 to 28 is good for those kind of like wider shots and everything just to kind of vary it so that way i can use this one as well for photography but i do i do think just bringing those two lenses and like my drone is just more than enough for just capturing everything that i needed to so this kind of condensing, even despite of the size and weight of the 35 to 150, it's a little bit nicer than having to bring any extra lenses like that. The thing that I would add though, for coming back out to this place, would definitely bring my iPad or something with downloaded Netflix shows because it does get a little bit slow sometimes out there with uh, what you can do once it gets darker. And more board games because my just playing cards and trying to figure out different card games just kind of got over it but so far it's still a pretty good experience for doing it but i don't think i would do it anytime soon again somebody knows that we're basically back almost in our neighborhood finally back from our nice little kind of getaway uh, in Navasota, Texas. Um, despite of everything, I still think it was pretty good to just get away. Makes you realize how much you miss home. Um, a lot of the things for me is just, I, I used to travel a lot for music, touring, being away from home for weeks upon weeks, months at a time, away from home. So being back it actually kind of feels nice to just come home to your own bed to your own house just to your comfort and everything even if it's just now one night it kind of sometimes gets mentally exhausting mainly probably because it wasn't as much that i wanted to explore in that area so, and which is fine um i do believe that the area itself wasn't horrible it's still pretty fun to be around but 
with the time change of getting darker sooner and everything there's so much I guess limiting things that you can do and without having too much of a view for going places to explore to take as much photos that I wanted to it's still kind of nice to just have a different experience the cabin itself is pretty cool to get those memories and photos that we wanted to take from the trip and it's just kind of nice to just have something different that makes you realize what you really like and what you don't which I do like being outdoors and I like being I guess exploring and hiking and stuff like that but since we didn't really have that aspect of things when it came down to that location it wasn't too horrible but I do think that something like that would be a lot cooler having either a beach nearby or mountains that you can have a nice little view outside your window rather than just kind of like the bushes over there but my my little kind of I guess fun stuff was being able to drive my forerunner and having fun just kind of going a little bit on the off-roading kind of scenario my vehicle is horribly dirty now but it's okay I mean I, oh, you know you just wash it and whatnot but it's pretty cool to finally be able to kind of have a little bit of a travel experience with it and then having to bring you guys along with me and my wife and my dogs to just kind of have some fun and then take some photos create memories use the gear that I've been really blessed to kind of get to be able to obtain now so it's kind of cool to put that into perspective to condense everything and just have my two Tamron lenses that I want to really bring now the 17 to 28 and the 35 to 150 so I think it's pretty cool what you can do with just a minimalistic setup like this despite of the heaviness of the 35 to 150 that's something that I do believe that you I'll get used to more obviously a little bit harder as well for my wife to kind of hold on to to do with the certain things that I want to film and everything but that way you kind of get a little bit of a perspective of what you can accomplish with this lens um, it is a little bit of a focal range that obviously in a cabin of that sort using the 35 to 150 it's a little bit more kind of in there close up but the spite of that made it work and got some cool photos in my opinion got to create some good memories and just have an overall bonding time with my family and just you know had some good times to just capture and basically seal with this video and with these photos for me and to share with you guys as well just to see a different side if you will of what I bring to the table if you will but that's pretty much it for when it comes down to this videos and this kind of like little forerunner travel series that I wanted to start doing eventually once I'm able to start traveling more and driving with it I want to start doing more series like this and plan them out a little bit better obviously knowing the locations or looking up more information on them so I can kind of make more like not a documentary style but relatively kind of like documenting of the travel make it more not cinematic if you will but just proper if you will but despite of that I still really think we got some cool footage and some good good hangs and everything in between so worked out but with all that said and done guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe share this video with a friend and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya